Oh, well, I want to talk about is did you guys hear Future's line oh. on the 42 Doug yep. song? Bar. That's like the, the line of the fucking summer, mm-hmm. in my opinion. Say, Tell Steve Harvey, I don't want him. Magic City, I'm the owner. Tell Steve Harvey, I don't want her. Fire. This is a reference to uh, Future, just because uh, Justin here might not <laughs> yeah. be necessary yeah, yeah, in yeah. these yeah. affairs. You know who Future yeah. is? I know Fu- who Future is. Future for Steve a period Harvey of time I don't know how they relate. was dating Lori Harvey, who is an extremely popular socialite stepdaughter to Steve Harvey and mm. has dated a shitload of like really, really popular actors and, and everything like that. The funny th- and, and then at some point they break up actors? and now she oh, yeah, yeah. she's married to Michael B. Jordan who mm. is an actor. How's yeah, they're married? I mean, are they engaged or are they married? I didn't know that. <laughs> One or the other. Um, he said they better not be. Either way, they're in there. Um, which to me is the funny part about this line because to me, Future is kind of baiting Michael B. Jordan to drop some bars on him right now. Mm. And if you're Michael B. Jordan, like, doesn't he pretty much have like a pristine public record like of never getting caught up in any kind of controversy ever? Yes. So I feel like never seen it. This is an open opportunity for Michael B. Jordan to drop a tweet or an Instagram story post or whatever. Dis in future. It's pretty easy to dis future in comparison because all he's got to do is say you got a million fucking kids and you don't take care of them. You got all these lawsuits. Yeah, yeah. I don't agree with that. What but if he just drops? If a he fire? says that, it's gonna be like. Boom, ether. But or if he drops some super woke statement caption. of like, like a caption on Instagram, you know, treating my woman like this. If he took like the super sensitive, you mm. know, approach and was like, you know, you're talking about the love of my life and nah, saying, nah, you nah, know, nah, 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 nah. what if he it's drops like, a caption? What if he got the tra- caption? He's like, treating women like shit is in the past. Being respectful is the future. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Yeah, some super some like stupid ass thing woke with ass. future in it. Yeah, yeah I like could see that response to be future, honest. You know, I was about to say what the fuck are you talking about, but yeah, yeah I could, I could kind of see that happening. Thanks, th- thanks for hearing me out first. I um, <laughs> you know, like, but you if talking? Michael B. Jordan comes for future, he has to. It's really a question because okay, no, he doesn't. All the women are going to take. Michael B. Jordan's side because mm. Future is the king of toxicity. He's Mr. Got got the million streets. kids, etc. Eight million. Every, but it's going to turn Michael B. Jordan into a fucking public enemy to all the real rap fans to whom they don't respect women and they don't think Future can do anything wrong. And bro, that's like Russell Wilson, bro. Mm. He's painted as the nicest guy yeah. in America. If he ever responded in a way that isn't how they portray him mm. it, it'd be fucked up and, and so it's just like Michael B. Jordan is like I don't expect him to say anything but if he but there's a certain impetus put upon you when somebody mentions or acknowledges your wife in, in, and I don't think it's his wife but if, <laughs> if somebody she's at least allegedly. his fiance okay. allegedly, allegedly, but allegedly. That, if that okay google if your, that if your girl yeah google that if your girl dealt with somebody in the Drawing past you, Harvey. you have to like take that like I've been with women who their exes that made songs about, oh God. and I don't feel like it's my thing to be jumping into something that I don't really know nothing about. If at you're that gonna moment. be in this life and this lifestyle, and you're gonna date women that are around, you have to, you have to realize that you, your you, your woman might be exes with fucking yeah. Future or with whoever. Imagine if Future had said, "Tell Michael B. Jordan, I don't want her." Number one, then that's different. Saying that's Michael different. B. Jordan in a song sounds a lot more clumsy than yeah. saying Steve Harvey. It's just Tell like way Michael too B. many Jordan syllables. No. See, but now, but now you're putting me directly Amen. into this. Mm. Tell so, AD, um, <laughs> yeah, because Steve Harvey is kind of supposed to not really care that much about who his grown ass daughter is dating. And right? it's not even his real daughter. It's, it's not really that good of a diss it's towards Steve Harvey, but it's funny. To call Steve Harvey into question because Steve Harvey is, in a lot of people's eyes, I think, kind of a goofball. Even if you respect him, he's, he's kind of like a goofy fucking yeah, a old comedian, man yeah. that people get jokes off on all the fucking <laughs> nope. time. He's a fucking comedian. Yeah, he's right, not whatever. looked at as a goofball. He's a goof. A comedian yeah. is a goofball. He's a goof. <laughs> Look at Josh with a goofball. complete timeline, not just a yes or no. Yeah, right. <laughs> a complete timeline. Yeah, that is boyfriend Whatever, and girlfriend. They're together. A complete timeline. <laughs> yeah, so, but I don't need to know a complete from when, timeline. Yeah. From when they <laughs> met. We just want a yes or no. <laughs> like their first date. No, oh, but, but that's, a, that's the thing. If somebody directly puts you in some shit, mm. because honestly, like, if you go to your girl's, like, if your girl has an ex, it's like, okay, I don't know what the fuck you guys were doing together. What didn't happen? You know what I'm saying? Whatever the situation is, it's not. 
it's not my my duty to sit there and to jump in that. But if you directly put me in it, yeah. then now you're sitting there saying, I don't have okay, respect if, for if you. If I was controlling this simulation, this is how it would play out in my mind, is he drops the Michael B. Michael B. Jordan responds, and then Future responds and says, hey, homie, this ain't Wakanda. You could really get fucked up. Oh, my <laughs> Something God. like that. If he has like a Wakanda punchline in his get back response to oh Michael B. Jordan. Oh, my God. I will... I will laugh movie? so hard that my fucking stomach will rupture. That's all. I just want to throw that out there. What if? What if a female? Cash out. Would what future if, say, "Hey, homie"? <laughs> what if a female rapper that Adam used to date said, "Tell Parker and I don't, <laughs> I don't want them." <laughs> Tell Leonard, you, I don't want them. <laughs> would you respond? Yes or so, no? So let me ask you this, then. Right. Right. Do you, so. If one of Lena X's said something about her, well. Have you came across this problem ever? Have you ever came across that? No, and I, I and know. would you feel entitled to like resp- to to respond to that? If somebody who had fucked her in the past, like r- they like, never tried to come, like no nigga never tried. They didn't say, say nothing no. about you. They was like, oh yeah, Linda was a bitch when we dealt with each other. Or like, or, like yeah. you say something crazy, like disrespectful about her. No, I would freak the fuck out. Okay, yeah. I don't know what I'll do. Okay, but yeah, I would be tricky. Something yeah. along the lines of the Steve Harvey line. It was like somebody tell whoever Linda's dad is. <laughs> I don't want her. You feel like you would have to jump into that. Well, I mean, being messy and like creating drama is kind of like my business. <laughs> Somebody, tell, so yeah, <laughs> it's kind of a wasted opportunity if I don't respond. You know, Somebody tell I think, Mr. I think you would like get off of it. You'd be like, I, I got the what's it called, uh, uh, fucking diss or something. I mean, like at that. least I'm gonna think about it all week, and then we're gonna talk about it on here, and I'm gonna just like do the best job I can, disrespecting them or saying yeah. whatever. Yeah. But you have to choose the right fucking path because sometimes it does seem like a good idea to take the high, the road. high road but if somebody like really the, the thing about it tell steve harvey i don't want her is, not is the that most. saying you don't want her is kind of like a generic thing to say like it doesn't really say like that's not if, like too disrespectful if he said tell steve harvey she ain't shit yeah oh man that's like, like so if much he, worse if he said like tell steve harvey i said fuck that bitch or like, <laughs> like, like, even just was, calling her a bitch is a lot yeah. worse than saying i don't want her it's like fine. Like we, we we could assume you don't want her. Like that's 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 one thing, you know. Yeah, if y'all not dating anymore, she got a whole new fiance allegedly. Yeah, <laughs> and, and they're married. <laughs> Adam <laughs> knows something I don't know. You want to know the thing? I, I'm Adam deep. I'm tapped in. I know. I know. Who's Adam was there when he when he fucking proposed. Gave his vows. But this is the thing about it that I think could propel this to the point that Michael B. Jordan will have to respond. That song's a hit, if you ask me. That song is the whole Forty Two Doug album is actually the fire. album is dope. But that song is hard. Like that song, I could really imagine that playing. That's such a good song for the rest of the fucking summer, and probably until next year. Michael B. Jordan is going to be in the club if he goes to the club, or maybe at his wedding. <laughs> he's gonna hear that song. <laughs> his wedding. Oh, man. <laughs> he's gonna hear that shit, and he's gonna get more and more angry. Bro, I, I was speaking of uh, songs being played. I saw so many people that we all know at the fucking Drake decade party Mm -hmm. in LA and I'm like how the fuck did this person get in? I saw Desto and Draco there I'm like what the fuck? At the stadium. I mean Draco has a song with Drake so that makes sense. Who did you see that like just like I knew a gang of people that was there. Random girls random homies. How did we not get invited to that kind of thing? Bro how did we not get invited Is it maybe the fact that I I got invited? Doesn't Drake follow you? Yeah. Nigga what the fuck we could have went. Somehow there's never been a party. I was in Phoenix. You know you know Adam wouldn't have taken us if he got the invite anyway. He wouldn't have won. He was uh, the only way that he would have won. He would have. He, he probably would have sent Trevor or somebody to go vlog it. Yeah. There's no way he's gonna let me vlog it. I wouldn't even try that. Ooh. I would have to if I if I had a plus one. I mean, I feel like I'm gonna probably to have land. to bring my girl. Yeah. But then also, I definitely need four. somebody to beat people up. For if you had me a plus too, four, so. you gonna bring you Big Ski? Uh, if you had a plus four, give us your plus four right now to the drink party. Let's go. Lena, Parker, AD. <laughs> you can't take Parker. <laughs> you can't take Parker. <laughs> We're so gay. You gotta watch the vlog so you can see him basically <laughs> initiate her into being a crip. She's only six months oh old. Oh my god, it's pretty crazy. He's got her throwing up the C in the video and shit. I'm like, damn, Parker, you don't want this. This is the vlog came of- out today. Yeah. Yes. Mm. You know what else came out today? You Adam. out of the closet? Yeah, fuck. Damn. You, beat, you beat me to it. The, the river beater. The, ri- <laughs> the Stretching river stretcher. my dick out. The river stretcher. 